So here's our little cityscape for today. Go ahead and pause to get your drawing done. And we will begin with a graded color wash. And I'm mixing some rose into my purple, or to my blue to make some purple. And I'm just going to start with that purple going across the top. And I'll keep adding more water to it as I'm coming down. And about halfway down this wash, I'm going to switch to some rose. And I'm painting around the tops of these first few buildings. I want to keep those highlights nice on the front of the building. So I'll try to avoid those. And so I just come around the tops with the point of my brush, and now I'm going to switch to the yellow. So I'm putting back a little bit more purple into here. My wash wasn't quite as intense as I wanted it to be. And I'm coming down into the gold as I get down close towards the horizon area. And then these buildings will be covered in the gold. It gives it that atmospheric feel. And I'm just going to kind of let the paint run out of my brush as I get down to the bottom. So went ahead and let that part dry and now I am adding the gold side of these buildings. So this is an under layer for this wash. And on the faces of these buildings that are getting blasted by the light, I'm going to skip around a little bit and leave some white areas. So this side is getting a little warmer. I want to really capture that warmth from the sun coming in here. So I'm going from quinacridone gold into my Chinese orange to get that extra bit of warmth. And then these two buildings here are kind of the focal point. So we want the highest amount of contrast here. So that's where the whitest whites are. And I'm using the purple and orange contrast as well to keep your eye focused in on that area. And then here, Herman had put in just a touch of the turquoise green to balance out that other corner. You can see the front faces of the buildings are getting blasted by the light, and then the side of the building goes back into the alleyway, so that's got the more purple shadow side. But I've also got warm shadows in there, so then you have some of the orange for the warm shadows, too. Right now, we just want one color blending into the next. And for the bottom part of the wash, I'm going to pull down some even warmer color. So again, this is the gold and the orange mix, and I'm just spritzing it to tie it in together since this wasn't painted all at once, as it should be. We're just going slowly so everyone can keep up.
So I've got that whole little corner reserved now for that turquoise green. And then we're going to add just a couple of touches of purple to that. And I flick some water onto it with my fingers and that breaks the pigments up and gives it almost like the effect of the salt. So I just mix some really soft purple for these background buildings, the very distant ones. And some will be a little more on the purple side and then some a little more on the rose side and that will give it sort of a shadow side and a warm side even being far away and then the next buildings over will be one step darker in value and I'm just gonna skip around the areas where I want the highlights to show through And that will give the illusion of those columns. So those shapes are a little bit too wide. I'll tighten them up a little bit. So this is the purple and then it's dulled down even further with the gold and this is for the shadow side of this building. So here I'm going to skip around where I want the highlights to pop through. And I'm going to tie this car into that shadow from the building. And all these shapes are going to be connected. I'm just leaving just enough of a gap for you to make out what that shape is there. And then this third car kind of fell off the road a little bit or got stuck in a sinkhole or something down there. I don't know what happened to that one, but in the end it won't even be that noticeable. So I'm washing this purple right over everything and tying it all in together. And now I'm going to come in for that final touch up of the darkest darks. And I'll give some detail into this piece.
Now my purple is still a little bit damp here and I want it to be that way so that when I'm putting these darks in they'll kind of bleed into that a little bit and I will have some nice soft edges so it's not too harsh of a line. And you can see I'm not coloring in the whole square of the window, just giving the darkest areas some shading and leaving some light parts. And I need to punch up my warms coming in here a little bit more. They faded out a little too much. So these, just adding more warm shadows on the building. Remember not all shadows are dark shadows. So these windows, I gave them kind of a warmer base with the golden orange mix and then added some dark to that. So here we got all the cast shadow from the awnings.
And this guy's got some sort of balcony above it. And I have just a touch of that turquoise in there to help balance that turquoise in the other corner. I'm just touching up my shading a little bit. And then this guy also needs a roof here. And again, these windows, I'm putting a tiny touch of turquoise in with my French ultramarine just so that I keep my nice balance. Um, here we have our big power poles. And trying to make that just all nice one move brush strokes. And then I got power lines on the other side. And with a liner brush with very, very little water on it, I will dry scrape across my wires and tie it all in together, and that will be the end for this one.